Yo, yo, what's good, y'all? It's Timothy Glean, and um, I just want to come to y'all with a quick video. Um, I don't just want to make long form content. Uh, primarily, that's what I'm going to do. Um, so, if you have a short attention span, I'm not really going to cater to that, but I'm going to be moved to be speaking messages as well, you know, but in this Father's Day, I don't 100% believe personally in celebrating a lot of these holidays but in concept in the essence when we think of a father I feel like just just the role of a father has been diminished the appreciation of fathers that work hard and go out there and have to face the world and then have to go home to a battlefield as well you know lots of contention in the household as we read many passages and Proverbs um, and also just in Ecclesiastic Hugs, which is in a Apocrypha. Uh, many scriptures that you know speak on you know, the woes of dealing with the wicked woman, you know, a woman that devises wickedness and evil plans and an adulterous woman, and you know, just a uh, you know, and so many other aspects of that, you know, just even with households falling apart and children rising up in rebellion and children rising up against their parents and um you know it's just just the spiritual atmosphere of this country right now when it pertains to men right now and us really needing to be the heads of our family us needing to be headed by Christ us needing to lead those that are under our care and us to protect them as well you know, not just muscle, but, you know, just spiritually, just really just covering them with prayer. And, you know, it, it, it's so many aspects of this walk as a man, especially when you're responsible for other people. But I believe that the Most High will give you grace. It's like it says, it's like he that finds a wife, uh, you know, finds a good thing and obtains favor. You know, I believe there's supernatural divine favor that comes with having a wife, having a family, having people that... You're responsible for it. That's under your care, especially if you're going to be that kind of man that's a sole provider. But regardless if you're a sole provider, if you split 50-50 or anything like that, you're in your children's lives. You're doing the best to teach them to do right, to be right. And most importantly, just teaching them the ways that are most high. And um, that's pretty much the most important thing it is that we as fathers, we as men need to be doing. Us men truly need to be leading and guiding our children and empowering them and motivating them and you know instilling in them self-esteem and you know teaching them how to love themselves and you know and uh, appreciate who they are and and how the most high made them and to be disciplinarians to be those that can you know bring about order and structure in their household you know, according to the leadership and guidance, guidance of the Holy Spirit and our head, which is Christ, you know, but it's, it's a blessing to be a man. It's a blessing to be a father. It's a blessing to, you know, be somebody that can uh, lead a family of myself. I don't have a wife right now, but I do have three children that I have sole custody of. And, you know, I think of that every day, you know, just, oh, wow, I'm doing this by myself. I got to wake up and care for certain things that you know most men in this position with being in the house with their children are either married or that a good small percentage of men that are the ones that are the sole custody provider of their children and you know just for you as a father you as a man and i know that you don't even have to be no father just you as a man in general that got to go out there and go to war and battle like every single day and, and then fight you know i understand the wiles of the especially when you're trying to live pure and live right and all the temptation is out there and everything is out there to try to ensnare you and try to bring you into captivity to sin you know and just even hashatan satan himself is like a roaring lion looking for whom he may devour so you know it's important for us as men to be on guard and i'm telling you this i'm not trying to tell you this is in this place where i'm like i'm trying to tell you this because i i have experiences of doing things the wrong way of doing things you know unbiblically and doing things not the ways of the most high and not doing things the way handling things the way that a real man would handle things and 
you know, I'm, I'm growing up. I'm growing up. You know, I'm blessed to have a father in my life, like, growing up. I mean, he, he passed away when I was 22, and I probably needed him more than ever at that point, but I grew up with the father. So there's issues and pitfalls that I didn't fall into. But there's so many more people that don't have a father or didn't have a father and now they have issues that if a father was there they wouldn't have and it ain't just the boys it's the girls as well this is why this can be a single father thought but of course i just wanted to speak something quick you know just for men to be out here every day just the builders of society the the ones that are the leaders and the ones that, you know, in essence, in nature, are the protectors. You know, of course, there's many ways that we can provide as well, not just financial, because there's households where women are providing now, but it's also providing an atmosphere of safety for your lady, for your children, uh, providing, you know, just your efforts, you know, your, your strength, um, especially those areas that you're strong in as a man. And, they gonna lean on people. It's gonna be people in your life that that needs those strengths, but especially your children, you know. And then we, as children of the Most High, any of us, we have a father in our heavenly Father. He's a father to those that are you know, fatherless, and even with those with the physical father, there's no father like our heavenly Father, the Creator of everything, Yahuwah, and. One important, th one important thing about that is just as our children are with us and depends on us, we have to be like that with our Heavenly Father. I, I have to sometimes have to tell my children this sometimes or you know plenty of times where it's just like don't try to do things by yourself and don't try to do things yourself. It's okay to ask for help if you need help. It's okay if you don't know. And sometimes we as adults can you know fall into the pride of life and just pride in general and just one's own abilities and capabilities and it's great to be confident in those things but to put everything in that where we're not even putting anything into the most high uh putting our trust into the most high our dependency our, our yielding to him but our yielding to what we want to do and how we want to do it you know and us as men we can be very <laughs> narrow-minded in our thoughts but it it's, it's a beautiful way to be because it helps us to be able to be logical and to focus on the task at hand in front of us. I appreciate how we are made. You know, and just if you're somebody that's really doing right, just, just being a good person out here, just walking in the ways of the most high, um, just raising your children up right, leading your family, your wife, your children, or whomever you're with, um, and just even those in your community, rather you're in the congregation, Rather, you're, you're just in a fellowship, um, house, to, house to house fellowship as the book of Acts. And, you know, just however it may be, I, I, I just trust that the Most High is going to continue to bless you, your fellowship, and wherever you worship at and wherever you praise Him at. And rather it's in an open congregation or a congregation in a building or even just you just in your own house, just, you know, with your relationship, of course. And I know many people will be against that, but I got a video on that. I got a video on a lot of stuff because I got a lot to speak about. But, you know, I just hope that you've been blessed by, you know, something that I said. I just want to encourage you as fathers, man. Sometimes it's okay. You know, we, we beat ourselves up sometimes. As men, we feel like we're not there the way where we want to be. Or, or just sometimes we just look at the end of the day and be like, man, like, I didn't do as much enough as I could I didn't do good enough it was like when I used to run track I used to run the 400 hurdles and I remember I'd be doing pretty good through three-fourths of the race but when I got to that like that final stretch that final 100 meters I realized I had more in my legs and I had more in my body by the end of the race I really felt like man I could have put more in the entire race because I my, my time would have been better if I'd have had that much in my legs and in my body towards the end of the race, I should I, I should have been further ahead because I should have put more into the race. So there's sometimes we could feel like that, but 
with that and with the knowledge and the wisdom that you have through your mistakes, through your slips, stumbles, and falls, as a man, you just gotta get up and go. Even if nobody pats you on the back, even if nobody gives you that compliment, even if nobody acknowledges you, this is why I want to acknowledge you right now as a man. You know, rather you have children, rather you have a wife, uh, wife and children, rather you're married, rather you're not married, rather you even don't have children, just you as a man in general that are out here working hard towards your goals and doing what you need to to build, you know, legacy for your families or future families and, you know, just living in purpose and, and being used as a light in this world, man. Um, I'm with you, brother, and just know that I will be praying for you. I'll continue to pray for you. I ask you to pray for me because it's trials and battles that me as a man, I deal with every day. I have infirmities and weaknesses in my own flesh that the most high is dealing with me, the thorn in my flesh. So pray for me and just for me to endure these times as if we're on this narrow path, we're going to make it into the kingdom. We already believe we have faith. But as we're continuing to walk and be sanctified, walking by the law of the spirit, let us be those men that can truly walk in the law, statutes, and commandments of the Father by the Spirit. Remember, it says in, says it in Romans 8. So I'm not trying to bring no Pharisee stuff to y'all as people will accuse us as being Pharisees. But ultimately, I just hope that, you know, you as a father, you as a man, just keep on doing what you're doing. And once again, I acknowledge, I'm, I'm acknowledging you. I will give you your flowers. You don't have to be no Nobel Peace Prize winner. If you're doing right by, by the Most High, living right by Him, or even if you slip or stumble just with a repentant heart and, and, you, and you keep on going, just finishing this race, man. One day we're going to have uh, an eternal crown, you know. So for you as my brothers, as men, fathers that are out there doing what they need to do for their families, for their loved ones, just towards their goals and especially the work on the most high you know keep on going and i just want to encourage you to just keep on going and just know that you're doing a great job you know, and don't don't let what people say around you or what people perceive or maybe you made some decisions that you know and now people still judge you off of past mistakes i'm, I'm just saying things out of experience and out of things that i've witnessed you know so but once again, man, just continue, continue, continue to just fight, continue to press in. The Most High will give you grace. And if you ever feel weak, just know that He gives strength to the weak. If you ever don't know where to go, He is liberal in the wisdom that He gives, as it says in James. I forgot what chapter, but I'll throw it there. Um, and just. You know, the Most High is a safe space for us. He's our, a refuge for us. He's our sanctuary. He's a strong and tall tower. No matter what we face, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And sometimes, I know it says that, sometimes the weapon has prospered. But Yah's grace is sufficient. And with that, you are still here. You're still standing. You're still breathing. Your children love you. Your wife loves you. They care about you. The Most High blessed you with your family. He blessed you in your with your job and your situation. Even if you don't have that much money or have much anything, it, it, it's still just the Most High just graced you to have the breath of life. And just know you have another day to work towards your goals, your dreams, or just whatever Yah has envisioned, uh, allowed you to envision. And the things that you see for your family and how you want to lead your household and how the Most High is guiding you with that. And just, man, just be encouraged. Just be encouraged. Just know and remember that even if nobody sees it, the Most High sees all your efforts. And before I go, I just want to say this to encourage you, man. Just go in the secret place and pray to him. And man, he's as this, as as it says, and I forgot where it says. And um, we'll send many of the accounts of the gospel, but pretty much when you go in a secret place and pray to the Father in secret, he will he will reward you openly. And Yah has done that in my life, and he's allowed me to be a witness and to give glory to him by how he's blessed me because of what I've been doing in secret. You know, so that secret work that you're doing, that, that the, being in the presence of the Father, you as a man being in his presence, it's like Moses being at Mount Sinai. So when you walk off that mountain and he's shining in his presence and his glory is just shining on you. And people see that, people feel that. And I know you as a man of God, a man of Yah, man of the most high, set apart man, I know that you've already felt that. 
with people around you. You walk in a room and just demons just tremble and just you just start to shake up stuff in the spirit. And people start to move different around you and move weird around you. People start to, and we gotta face things as men out here. Us as us in the faith gotta face things, of course. But it's it's different for us men. That's why it, it's it's. I just want to encourage you because people don't really care about us as much as they care about others and if we're speaking on the nuclear family everybody is vital and important in the nuclear family but as the role of the man is disrespected not cared about as masculinity is deemed as toxic now and not just effeminacy or femininity in a man you know there's so many different aspects that come against masculinity true masculinity and true men men with a voice and men that got common sense and that's not gonna let the the status quota and and and, and everything and just just the the atmosphere even around this month it's a lot of stuff I'm, I'm just that you know so i just need to talk to the real men right now stand bold and stand firm on the word don't let nobody trip you up don't let nobody out here just don't let don't let them make you stumble with people out here in your jobs that know you in this faith and they know what month it is and they gonna try to stumble you and try to make you and, and people try to trip you up the devil wants us to look stupid the devil wants us to just be bad witnesses when people start to bring up certain topics and and and, and us men should never back down on a word but we should do so in grace and in love because we want to have peace with all men you know a peaceful answer may turn down wrath that's why we don't answer out of our brains whenever you're responding or speaking to anybody out there you speak from the holy spirit as it says as as christ said man just wait on the spirit the spirit will give you what to say it will give you the utterances it, it it'll move for you but you got to trust in him we got to yield to him in order to be able to hear from the spirit and us as men it's important for us to be the leaders spiritually in our household and i know this because in the israelite or black community but i'll say israelite community um a lot of our women those are the main ones that are the most spiritual ones the ones that are in the churches the most the ones that are in the prayer closets the most to pray and i appreciate our sisters for that but our men we need to be the leaders in prayer we need to say hey baby yo then we gotta pray you know some stuff coming against our family we gotta pray you know or just new opportunities hey baby we gotta man you gotta lead in that as a man lead in prayer with your family with your children and yeah you know and just spiritually cover your house as a man and i believe that the most high will give you the grace and the most high he will honor your prayers if you're doing right by your wife and your children trust and believe these are promises straight out the word i'm not trying to just give you no like mumble jumble like you know no i'm, I'm, I'm i just i just want to give you this encouragement brothers that we got to be strong and we got to stand firm on a rock which is planted which is the word of yah which is yah which is the word that's become flesh yahusha hamashiach we got to build our house on that foundation and not on the sand so that when the winds and waves come and us as men we are already counted the cost and have been prepared and built this house on the correct foundation and we built it up to its completion because we counted the cost we got to see the materials that we needed and we got to see how long it would take and we got to see the labor that it would take and we got to build and we got to get to it when you're building your house and your foundation your family are going to live in that house so if that foundation is shaky and things are happening and you as a man and your family falls that is on you as a man that is a big responsibility that ain't on nobody and nobody's gonna get judged for how you as a man lead and facilitate these things and the most high of course leads us and guides us but he puts it in our hands as man's men to make the decisions and one more thing trust your wife i know there's a such thing as women's intuition i believe it trust your wife <laughs> And, and when I say this, I'm not saying this as a husband and anybody that has a certain level of wisdom with marriage. I'm very knowledgeable in wisdom. I mean, I'm very knowledgeable in marriage, but I don't have no wisdom in marriage. But the Holy Spirit moved me to tell you as a man, I'm not a husband and I'm not in your position, so I don't know what it's like, but trust your wife sometimes. Take into consideration what she says because you never know what might come out of that. 
You know, she's your wife for a reason. She's your helpmate for a reason. And your wife does have a voice. And it's a strong voice. She's your wife for a reason. Hear her out and trust and believe she might have something to say to you. You know, man. Yeah, just honor her and man, love your children and, and continue to be graceful with them. And don't hold back the, the rod, don't spare the rod, but make sure the reproof is coming with it because sometimes people can give them the rod in the, in the Bible and throw them in their room in the chamber <laughs> of forgottenness and, and not approach them with the grace that Yahusha had, you know? So we gotta be men that walks in, in the ways of our head, Yahusha Hamashiach, but yo man, I. Man, brothers, I keep on wanting to end this video, but I just, I really want to encourage you, man, because I know what it's like to battle and fight. That's why I don't want to keep on talking, but I just wanted to just bless you with that. But, you know, may the most high bless you in your who's your name. Um, I got some new t-shirts out, actually. Um, I'm going to actually have it up on the screen. Um, and some scripture tees. Uh, the new rebrand re drops are coming soon. This is one of the shirts for the rebrand drop. Um, it got something on the back. This is one of my like, wooly fleece jean jacket Rebrand and you know that game, but that's something else, but hey, may y'all bless you for real I'm about to go, you know get back to some grinding stuff, but hey Man, I love you and I appreciate you and may the most high bless you in your name Ooh.